we are getting more and more images out of the Red Rocket set in Nyack, New York for the Fallout TV show. And I gotta say that these leaks don't seem like leaks at all. I will note that these seemingly coincide very well with the release of Last of Us's first two episodes. There are no barriers around this set. There does not appear to be much effort being put into covering up this set, and it is definitely for promotion, if you're asking me. That said, we're still gonna look at the images because they are very cool. I'm just not gonna call them leaks. They're not leaks, this is intentional. If they didn't want people to see the set, they would put fencing around it, they would cover it up better. But as you will see in these images, they are not covering it up very well and using very thin trash bags to cover up the identifiable pieces of this set. That said, it is snowing, so it might just be protection that they're trying to provide. Again, we can see this beautiful set in the daylight, obviously weathered, obviously post-apocalyptic. One of the biggest changes and deviations, as I have said before, is there is a lot of greenery on this set, and now we can see it even better in the daylight, mostly along the roof line. That is definitely intentional. I don't think that's just greenery that's hanging around in Nyack, New York. So, will Fallout TV show be a lot greener than previous Fallout installations? It's looking possibly like it, at least in this area. Here's another angle of the set. You can see the coolant fillers and other people dressing the set. It looks very weathered. It's very pretty. The red is shockingly bright, despite it being post-apocalyptic. All right, let's go to the next angle. Again, you can see the effort that they're taking to cover this set. I don't know if that was just for protection or if they're trying to hide what it is, but very clearly not well covered, if you ask me. My cat's scratching. All right, and the next image here, again, we're covering the, cool, the coolant sign and we see some of the older cars. It's not well covered, but, you know, I again think that is incredibly intentional on the part of the showrunners. Now let's hop over to this one. It's good to know that the price of coolant hasn't changed. It's also interesting. I wonder how they're going to handle the snow. If it does snow on the days that they're filming, they're clearly still in the set dressing phase, so I don't think they're actively filming right now. But if it is snowing, I wonder how that will be handled in the realm of the TV show. Is it going to affect anything? But the biggest thing to note, as I have said before, is it is very, very green on this set. It's shockingly green, actually. You can see it hanging off of the roof line here. We also see what probably is going to be a red rocket sign, again, covered in duct tape and plastic. Expect this set to be exactly like the set that was in uh, Staten Island. People, we're going to see hundreds of more pictures coming in of this set. We're going to see people going up onto the set. We're going to be, see people doing some stuff. And I say to you, don't do that. Leave the set alone. If it's open and they let you on, take a picture. But don't be flying drones over when they're filming. Don't do that kind of stuff, okay? We don't want that to happen. But that said, this is this is intentional, people. This is very intentionally visible to the public eyes, no efforts to cover it, because it's generating hype. And guess what? I'm sitting here recording a video of it in my living room because it is generating hype. And I am I am hyped. I don't see a lot of more more things to notice in this. Obviously, we're gonna get coolant fillers and probably potentially some gas fillers, but it look it's looking mostly like coolant and some green life on this red rocket. I'm excited for when they add the red rocket to the top of this support here, as that is what I suspect is happening. If they do it in post, I will be severely disappointed. What do you think? Did you notice anything I missed? Are you hyped for this set? Do you think that this is an intentionally visible set and not a leak? don't think it's a leak. Let me know in the comments. Be sure to follow me everywhere and have a wonderful day. Follow me for more Fallout show news.